Hey, this is Puneet back again and welcome to our VBA series where we learn to write codes in Excel. And before we jump in, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any of these videos in coming weeks. And now let's get started. Now here we will see how we can create a named range using a VBA code. So for this, I'm going to go to the developer tab and click on the visual basic to open the visual basic editor and then i'm going to go to the insert and click on module to insert a new module and now i'm going to name this macro and now first thing that i need to use is i need to specify the active workbook object because i want to create a name range in the active workbook and after that I need to use the names property and after that I will use the add method so this line of this small line of code actually tells VBA to create a new name a new name range in the active workbook now here we have few arguments that we need to define but we will only define arguments that are required to create a name range so first thing i will do is i will specify the name that i want to give and after that uh, the refers to means the range for which i want to create this name range now when you specify this range you need to specify the sheet name as well and along with the equal sign so if i want to create a name range in sheet 2 for range a1 to a5 uh, the specification of the range will go something like this and i will also use dollar sign to freeze this range And now if I run this code and go to the sheet 2. So here we have that name range that we have just uh, created using this VBA code. And now if I click on this range, so it refers to the cell A1 to A5. And that's the same range that we have specified in our code. And if you want to create a name range uh, from the selection, the range that you have selected, you can simply use the keyword selection instead of the address of the range. Now, if I select this range or these cells and run this code, so here I have a new name ring with the name my range name, and that name range actually refers to the selection of the cells. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you found this quick VBA tip useful. And if you want to learn more, make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'll be coming out with a lot of cool VBA tips and tricks in coming weeks.